innovative solutions for injection molders from AAE. Hi, Bill. I finally got the loading project finished. Good morning, Barbara. Were you able to find the solution for all 38 machines? Yes, we're loading from Gaylord's next to the press, and our largest machine is only drawing 175 pounds per hour. I think compressed air loaders are our best choice. They're reliable because they have no moving parts, and the operators on the floor love them. I did a comparison of all the compressed air loaders on the market, and I learned that there are a lot of important factors to consider. Let me explain with this spreadsheet. First, I found out that AAE offers a no-load alarm. That's very important because if we run out of material, it sounds a loud buzzer. The operator can get material to the machine before it runs out. That'll save us on downtime and mold damage. I don't think we should have any loader without it. They have retrofit alarms I'm going to buy for our existing loaders. No other company offers a no-load alarm. AAE also offers on-the-throat blending. That's really neat. The material actually blends in the sight glass on the machine throat. We have two applications where we can use it. We tried it on the handle job for GM. Getting a good mix of the regrind reduced our short shots and flash. Production has improved since we've been mixing the material. We also have a tinted color we're drawing from a blender. No matter what we did, we had trouble with material separation and color shifts. We put on the loader with blending and our problem was solved. We have several jobs with fines and dust in the regrind and pellets. On those machines, we have a hard time keeping the filters clean. We tried a compressed air loader from AAE that has a self-cleaning filter. They're the only company that offers one. They even have a self-cleaning bag filter. The bag filter is really impressive. We had one job on machine 12 that required the filters to be cleaned every three hours. We bought a CA6 and now we don't clean them at all. I think we should upgrade most of our machines to CA6 loaders with self-cleaning bag filters. We have a few machines running clean virgin and regrind that we can save money by using CA3s. All of AAE's loaders are polished stainless steel. It makes a big difference in the quality and wear resistance on our glass-filled materials. They even have a hardened wear plate that eliminates wear to the chamber. We used to have to replace the cyclone on the loader running glass-filled material a couple of times a year. I just talked to one of AAE's customers who had the same problem. He bought a loader over four years ago, and he still sees no sign of wear. Even AAE's accelerator and wand are made from stainless steel. They're the only company I could find with good wear resistance. Remember the time we got ceramic chunks in our material for that aluminum accelerator? That was a nightmare. The AAE wand also draws from the bottom of our Gaylords. The other loaders we have stop loading if the wand is more than 12 inches in the material. AAE has a venturi on the very bottom of the wand where it works best. And most important, they have a vent tube that allows air to flow from the top of the wand down to the material entry. Material cannot flow without it. We have it on all our vacuum loaders. It makes no sense to have a compressed air loader without it. I couldn't find a vent on any loaders made in America or Europe. The guys on the floor like the AAE clamp-on hose. They're always complaining about it being difficult to get a hose on the inlet tube. Now, on the AAE loaders, it just clamps on. All of the AAE loaders clamp together. It makes them easy to clean, and their molded gaskets never leak dust. The gaskets are permanently glued in place, so we don't have to worry about losing them. They offer four different sizes of sight glasses that clamp on from 2 to 6 inches. Most of the other companies only offer a 2-inch glass. That's fine for the small machines, but we lack a 3-inch glass on most machines, and we put a 4-inch glass on the 300-ton. We buy the internal magnets from AAE with our loaders. I pay extra to get rare earth magnets that are really powerful. Most of the other companies don't offer magnets. One offers external magnets that flip up. We have one of those, but the people on the floor kept lifting the magnet to see if there was any metal. Then the metal was released and damaged the mold. I don't know what we were thinking when we bought that loader. We have several jobs where we want to draw regrime from beside the press. We could buy a CA3 from AAE, but they don't offer any consistent control over the proportion of regrind. The CA6 has a PLC control with a plain English display. We can set how many seconds we draw each material and repeat that over and over again. No other company offers that. Of course, we need the turbo blending as well. AAE uses oversized valves with indicator lights. They claim that larger valves are more efficient and less likely to fail. The guys on the floor like the indicating lights.
We're going to buy a few clamp-on gravimetric color feeders. They're made for AAE by McGuire, and they work great. We can move them from machine to machine when we need them. We're also going to buy dry air conveying adapters for our dryers. They go on the bottom of the dryers and convey to the CA series loaders without any ambient air. The material stays in a blanket of dry air, eliminating any chance of regaining moisture. That's going to make a big difference in the hot, humid summer months. Barbara, you have done a great job on this project. Let's make sure I have it right. We are definitely going with compressed air loaders from AAE. We are only going to buy loaders with no load alarms. We are going to buy internal magnets on all of the loaders. We are going to buy CA3 loaders to save money on the jobs with clean material. We are going to buy CA6 loaders with self-cleaning bag filters for all the other machines. We are going to use on-the-machine blending for the jobs with regrind or color blenders. We are going to buy a few gravimetric feeders that we can move around, and we are going to buy adapters to convey with dry air from our dryers. That's right, Bill. When do you want to get started? Call AAE and get this project going as fast as you can. The sooner we get the whole plant done, the better. Join our war on dust. Dust has no place in your plant. We would like to answer your technical questions and send you a quote. You will be surprised how competitive our price is. Give us a call at 800-918-5820 or click email at the top of any page on our website to send us an email.